Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May the 24th, 2012, and it's kind of cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain all day. We're supposed to have thunderstorms. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I have uh, already been out and about, and you could just feel the humidity in the air because walking out of the store, I could just feel my fingers getting wet. So it's going to be a hot, humid, rainy, thunderstormy kind of day. Did you hear or did you see the video on the news about the man who put his son in the high-speed washing machine at a laundromat? I'm not sure where this was at. But we've all seen those front-loader washers that spin really, really fast, high speeds and, and such. And uh, usually people will put their, like, comforters and stuff in there. I've gone to the laundromat put my big comforters that I can't fit into my washer in those. And uh, that's why he put the little boy in. But the laundromat had cameras. And it showed the man pick the boy up, stick the boy in there, and shut the door where the machine automatically started. Um, so he kept trying to open the door to get him out. And those doors are locked. Those doors just are not coming open. So he must not have been very familiar with that type of washer at a laundromat. His wife was on the other side. She comes over. She tries. And... It's all caught on camera, and it was just real hard for me to watch. And they finally had to run back to the back and get uh, somebody who, the manager, I guess. And he come running out and moved the tables and opened this big box and turned the machine off. And they finally got the door open and got the little boy out. They said the little boy was uh, actually smiling. I, you know, I guess he thought it was fun. And he had some bruises and some scrapes, but other than that, he's fine. Um, they keep showing this on the news. Now they say that they would like for this family to come forward. Like that's going to happen. It's not going to happen. If this family comes forward, the only thing that's going to be happen is social services is going to be involved in their lives and they may even get their children taken away. Not only that one, but if they have any more at home. They're not going to come forward. And you know, while I don't think that they need their children taken away from them. A lot of people say they do. I don't think they do. But seeing that... Uh, that video, I honestly believe that they were traumatized. I don't think they'll be doing this again. And I think before they do any kind of actions that might put their child in any kind of danger or anything, they will think twice and possibly a third time about it. I think they've learned their lesson. So, and before we go taking children away from somebody that's, you know, yes, he used poor judgment. He used extremely poor judgment. Bad judgment on this one. But... I'm sure he didn't mean any harm to his child. So before uh, everybody gets involved in all of that, people need to focus in the government and uh, the social services and everybody needs to focus on illegal aliens that are crossing the borders every day. And I read an interesting thing about that, that illegal aliens, of course there are so many. I'm not against anybody. Anybody has a right to live anywhere they want to. You just do it legally. The word illegal is illegal for a reason. If I do something illegal, I'm going to go to jail. But illegal aliens come over here. They're illegal, but they get jobs and money and phones and food stamps and medical care and whatever they want. I can't get any of that. I have to work for it. This is, this is what I read the other day. Since they uh, are illegal... And they can't get a social security number. And you need a social security number to work and file taxes. So our government gives illegal aliens a tax identification number so that they can work. So that they can file taxes. However, on their taxes, uh, I, think, I think the way it is now, you know, you have your child credit. You can only claim two children. All this took place after my kids was grown, so I'm not sure. But I think you can only claim two children, maybe three, but I think it's two. And you get like, you know, somebody with two children get back like six or seven thousand dollars. And that's really not right because a lot of people get back more than what they earned. But that's not the case with the illegal aliens. They don't have, I guess they don't have a limit on how many people that they can claim because one man... And he was on the uh, on the news. It didn't, you know, it didn't show his face, but he was talking about it. And he said that uh, he had claimed he lived in a mobile home park, him and his wife and their little girl. And he claimed, I thank God, 
I don't remember how many nieces and nephews. Anyway, he ended up getting $49,000 back in taxes. And the nieces and nephews that he claimed on his taxes still live in Mexico. And then that brought up uh, the matter of illegal aliens claiming family members. And then they, they come and find out a lot of them do it. A lot of them get twenty, thirty thousand dollars. This man had the most of forty nine thousand dollars from the United States government when they file their taxes and claim children, nieces and nephews in Mexico and send that money over there. It's no wonder they all come over here. We can only claim two children. They can claim their children, uh, their neighbors' children, their aunts and uncles' children. You know, so and that's a lot of money in Mexico, so to family aunts in Mexico really don't have to work. So somebody needs to look into that. The reporter uh, that, that broke the story and everything said that uh, the, the tax department has been notified of this more than once. And they know what's going on. But they have done nothing about it. And then the government wonders why the American people always talk about the government being stupid. You know, I love the United States of America. I wouldn't live anywhere else. But I don't like our government the way it's being run. I think we need to just take everybody out, put all new people in there. I'm sure there's a couple of good people in there. I'm sure. I'm not saying everybody's like that. But, you know, it just seems like the majority of them are in there for the money, for what they can get. And so, therefore, you know, they're they're getting the big bucks and the bonuses. So, you know, they, they really don't care. They're nine five. Let's go home. Forget about it. And there are so many alien, illegal aliens over here. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. You know, to hell with it. Go ahead. I got bigger fish to fry, you know, that sort of thing. It's not fair. It's not right. Illegal is illegal. And you could bet your bottom dollar we could go to Mexico and they would let us file all of our people over here and they would give us a bunch of money. No other country would do that. Only in America. Now that's my rant and rave for today. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.